Right. So it's Geek Assembles Audio Head. You ready? Take three. We're ready, darling. Ready. Ready when you are. This is Phil Rose as Bunny Cheese Right, giving out a big call to Geeks Assembled Audio Heads. Come and see us in Colville, Leicestershire. <laughs> Hi, this is Audio Heads, and we're with Geeks Assembled, and um, I just wanted to, uh, since we're discussing the, the audio, the gnomes of death, we have our very own bunny uh, cheese right here, and he is, um, he is at, at LARPCon, and um, I'd like to let him uh, show you off the, the LARPCon uh, situation and uh, please, please, you know, enjoy, enjoy LARPCon, uh, will you? And please show us what it, what it's like. Now, Susan, and this is the logo. Go down Can further. Can you see that? All right. Bend down further. There you go. There we go. That is LARPCon. LARPCon is live action role play. And we come from Colville in Leicestershire. And I'm just going to give you a 360 degree panoramic view. Hang on, you can see all the action. Okay, wait, wait, just a moment. Just wait a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you big. You're gonna make me big. That's lovely. There you go. Make me... Okay. Now, okay. now, do your, do your pan. I'll do my pan now. Here we go, as Carol, panning right round, and up there. And as you can see, behind me is my usual poster. But, but obviously you want to talk about the gnomes of death. Yes. So, um... This is, is uh, this is the the discussion about the gnomes of death. Gnomes of death uh, had um, Cro Inspector Crow, and it had the our good uh, our good Dunning in played by one, Dunning. yeah Dun Dunning played by Terry so Malloy. It did. Yeah. And, and it, then the, the cast of other characters was, was played by local people that they have in now and then who are very, very good. And of course, old Bunny, she's right, that's when he turned up to save the day, I hope. He did. <laughs> he totally did. From a bunch of little it demons. Was, well, it was interesting to me about the script that the three things in it that appealed to me was number one, people being drunk. <laughs> number two, a gnome with an axe. And number three, a gnome with his bottom hanging out of his trousers. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was typecast. It was billing. <laughs> but also a good fantasy. I, I agree. It was, it was so much fun. Um, I love how Bunny saved the day. You're right about that. And... Um, I love that, that it was an adventure in two parts. I mean, there was a proper, uh, cliffhanger between the two, the two parts. And, um, and it was, it was exciting. I mean, the, and it was hilarious. It, it, it is very exciting because uh, Simon, um, and Paul from Baffle Gab, who produce and write it, always leave a sort of a cliffhanger in the first disc so you, it'll hook you for the second disc and what we found with this one was obviously once again an Indian deity had taken over the world and made all these little gnomes murderous you know what I mean and we've got a bit of hope a bit, a bit of vegetarianism in there and a bit of growing in the in the allotments so it was all good fun all round yeah it was, and and the beer was spiked with some sort of demonic uh, spirit. Oh, well, that that's the good straight. I'd 
I'm afraid when we had some of that, I think we all turned a bit demonic. I see. So even, even Friar Tuck would have turned a bit demonic there, darling. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, we enjoyed it. And also on the day when you're trying to do a drunk voice and you're quite sober, it, it's quite an art to be, to be very pushed by the beer, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, so I enjoyed And it was once again, it's another high-quality product that you can go out and buy and save and keep in your little library of uh, records. Yeah, it's it's delightful. It's absolutely sweet. Um, and and uh, I love I love the I love the fact that there are like there there were there were a bunch of people in the cast, but you know it wasn't it wasn't overpopulated. Like uh, David Warner as as Crow, of course, and then. Uh, Mike, Matthew Holness as Thomas Kelly. Yep. And he didn't sound like Matthew Holness to me. He didn't sound like nope. Thomas Kelly. He sounded like the man from the IT crowd. Uh, what's his name? When, Richard Ayede? Yes. Well, you see, this is the thing that Simon and Paul from Battle Gab, the do scary fires, this is what they do. They get people in to do different voices that are quite amusing and quite funny, but you wouldn't know it was them anyway. It was, I, I was, I was thrown. And then, and then this, uh, the other one, the guy from the brewery, uh, he sounded like, you know, I thought I was watching a bit of the IT crowd because he sounded so much like Chris O'Dowd, uh, the guy, uh, what was his name? Uh, Alexander I think what happened, Brown? Yes, O'Connell Brown, yes. I think what happens is some people hear these voices and yes. think, oh, that's a good voice to do. I'll, I'll try and pinch it and do a different one. <laughs> whereas, whereas Bunny Cheese, right, being very northern, uh -huh. can only talk like that. But Fair save it. the day, running. And, of course, Digby, the biggest dog in the world, mm -hmm. was in it as well. That was so fun. It, it was awesome. And, and uh, the other thing that, that uh, w the other person was like Stuart Silver as Dr. Slither. Yes, very and, slithery. And then there was two women. There was like Lily, Lizzie Roper as Eddie and Lucy Scott yeah. as Ethel. Yes. So many cool people, and then there was, uh, I guess, you and Bradley or Bailey, as Ara Ar Aricus Finch, as Finch. Finch, Aricus Finch, yes. <laughs> anyway, the anyway, wonderful names. Yeah, ju just fun names, super fun names, and and delightful cast, and and super funny stuff. Again, uh, so. I, I enjoyed it. I, I I think it's a ten out of ten. I think it's just solid gold. It's super fun. It, it, it as as Jeffrey would have said, it creased me up a bit. Um, yeah. So me up a bit. yeah. He he's he he's he's great, but he he was not able to be here. He may pop in a sec after after a bit, but um. <laughs> I don't know. We can't, we can't, I can't really tell who's coming or, or whatever, but. Alone on this podcast. What's that? We're alone on this podcast. Ooh. Who <laughs> <Yeah>. make <laughs> I'll go and get the beer. We'll see if we can see the gnomes later on. <laughs> But neither of us are sporting a beard, so um, so maybe it'll, it'll... Oh, yes, and that was the thing, you see, that everybody had a beard. And if you didn't have a beard, you were very weird. Uh -huh. And I thought, oh, just another, another little little funny thing that they put in for people to go, oh, that is a bit weird, isn't it? You know, <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Uh -huh. well, that's right, but... Um, I enjoyed doing it. I hope there will be. And I hope that we can get together soon and actually talk about the next one. There is another one? 
moment. They haven't contacted us to say there's another one. But I say I hope we get to do another one together. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I hope so too. Oh my gosh. They, they, these are precious. These are I so great. Want, we don't want them killing off bunny cheese, right, do we? No, no, we don't. And, and the other thing that, I mean, th this... This series is like is like a perfect like this is the comic counterpoint to to the Jago and Lightfoot Jago and Lightfoot. I mean, if you add Strax in there, it gets a little funny. But basically, Jago and Lightfoot are the serious version of of the Scarifiers. And so, you guys, I, I love what you guys have done. It's it's so it's so perfect. It's so funny. Well, it's very nice to know because if we've done it well, you enjoy it, and a lot of people go out and buy it, and we make more, for which we're very grateful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's so great. And, and, we, and we'll about the scary fires, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, are you? Um, are you? Done for the day at, at LARPCon, or, or do you have a nighttime LARP? No, we, we, we just arrived today. We're just setting up today. I have a little stall where we'll be, I'll be signing photographs tomorrow and things. And most of the other people here are costume makers, weapon makers, pottery makers of medieval material, and that's what they'll be selling tomorrow. And then Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, the LARPCon, the live action uh, role play people come and have a wander around and dress up. And then tomorrow night on the Saturday, I have to do the LARPCon Awards. Oh. Goodness knows what they are, but we, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun will be had. I'll get Carol to take a lot of pictures and send them to you. Yeah, that would be, that would be brilliant. So I, I just I, I'm so I'm so grateful that you came. It's it's so good to see your face and hear your voice, and uh, you know your your real voice, um, and you, you, your no your your friar talk voice as it was as it were. And if any pops down to the LARP con over the weekend, there are for sale CDs on um, uh, the scary fires on my table. So if anybody wants to pop down, and on the website, so just you can look at those. Yes, indeed. And, look at and I'll get Carol to take lots of pictures. And thank you very much indeed. It's once, once again, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. And I will look forward to the next time we can have a meet. And if Carol and I are ever, you're in San Francisco, aren't you? No, I'm in Boston. I was in San Francisco area. Yes. If Carol and I are ever in Boston, we'll come and knock on your door and say, we brought you the scary fire in the flesh. Thank you. Give my best to all the others. Yeah. Um, listen, I just, I just, here. Yeah? 